Okay, so now what you're looking at is uh, this bowl here is the sand sample that I just weighed out. You just watch me uh, split and um, weigh out the mass of that sand in the bowl here. Okay, now this little, uh, first of all, let's just look at this. This is a stack uh, called the pluviator. So starting at the bottom um, is the crush cylinder. This is actually a, a heavy gauge um, uh, steel that we do the crushing in. Now attached to that and stacking in several pieces is the pluviator. And pluviate literally means to rain down. And what it does is it's a device that has screens in it um, that split the sand down as it's coming down and create an even surface in the very bottom of the crush cylinder. So you want a very even surface surface when you're crushing the sand. So that's all this pluviator is doing. Uh, it's a lot of complexity to just develop a level uh, playing field down in the crush cylinder. So we pour the sand in the top. I raise the top piece which lets sand down in between those bars that you're seeing there and it falls all the way down the pluviator. Okay, now uh, I am going to step up on a step ladder and just pour the sand from our uh, bowl into the top of the pluviator uh, very carefully and then, and then raise that top portion of the pluviator up just a little bit and it's gonna let the sand rain down into the crush cylinder. So uh, you should probably be able to hear uh, the sand is arranged down, but uh, that's what's uh, going to be happening. Up on the step ladder, I've got a brush, and just uh, very, very carefully, we don't want to lose any single grain of sand. So I'm just carefully, carefully brushing the sand from the bowl into the top of the pluviator here. Every single sand grain is important to us. So uh, that's why I'm keeping very good care to not lose one single grain since we're dealing with such small masses uh, of sand. Every grain is important. So I'm about two thirds done and I'm just finishing up the last little bit and then I'll scrape the bowl if you will. I'll get uh, every particle of sand, make sure I've gotten everything. Uh, I'm just working this brush in the bowl trying to get every single grain of sand into the top of the pluviator here. Okay, got them all. Setting the bowl down. Now I'm going to raise the top of the pluviator up very very slowly. I don't know if you can hear that, but it just is basically grains of sand falling down through steel. It's important to go slowly here so that we get a level sand surface in the, in the cylinder. Too fast and the surface will be uneven. So they're falling down through two different mesh screens, in this case an eight mesh size. And now I'm just going to take the brush again and brush every single particle of sand down. Make sure we get everything down into the crush cylinder. So I'm just brushing, 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 catching every grain of sand, and then I'm disassembling the, uh, the pluviator as I work down. I'm brushing the first screen, taking this part off, brushing the screen a little more, taking this section off. Here, I'll show you uh, what this section looks like. 
Okay, here's a section of the pluviator. There's a screen in the top, and that just comes out like that. That's an eight mesh, and that's what the sand was raining down through. One more piece here. Again, I'm just brushing the sand particles down, making sure we get every single one. That's it. Take off this last piece. Again, uh, this last portion of the pluviator um, has a couple levels on it to make sure that you get the pluviator nice and level. And again, um, we've got an eight, an eight mesh that we were using. Okay. So now, we've got the pluviator disassembled. Uh, let me uh, show you what the sand surface looks like uh, down here. Okay, so pluviator has been disassembled. And here's the crush cylinder, and you can see that nice, level playing field. Uh, we've built, if you will, a little sand cylinder inside the crush cylinder uh, that we're going to crush. And um, very level, so that now when I place the piston in, okay, I'm going to make sure the bottom is clean, of course. I just place that in here, okay, I let it drop down carefully, and then I also rotate this 180 degrees to make sure that surface is level even more. So now we go ahead and put it into the Carver hydraulic press.